This is Karen. Hello, everybody. I am Shane. Today we have our lesson on translation practice, and as usual, we're going to talk about one of the topics that we have in this lesson,、yeah. which is. Well, this topic is about money and happiness. Oh, so if I have money, then I will be happy. <laughs> well, or that's not true. <laughs> So I don't know. What do you think? Do you think people can be happy if they're poor? Yes, I do. Yeah.、Uh, I I could because I do believe that money cannot buy happiness. Okay. Because a lot of、uh, some rich people that I know or you see on the news, they don't really seem that happy. So、yeah. you know the relationship between money and happiness.、Hmm. And if you've、really、ever、know. traveled in poor countries, you will meet some families and some people who are living in really, really poor situations, poor、yes. conditions,、mm -hmm. and they're very happy. And so, I don't think that your level of happiness is connected to how much money you have. You are right. Right. So it's more about being satisfied with what you have、yeah. and not wanting more and appreciating what you have and. How lucky you are to just maybe have food, yes. Have a house, have people that love you, and being grateful,、yeah. right? Being grateful and being thankful. I think that's what really makes us happy, and not money. That's right.、But、what do you guys think? Sometimes money is good. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's good, but. That doesn't mean if we have money. That doesn't mean that we're happy. It shouldn't be your only goal in life.、Right? That's right. You're right. Love,、okay. love. That should be the goal. Love. love. <laughs> okay, love you guys. Love you. Thank you. Bye Goodbye. Bye. Translation practice. Practice A. Although we can't do many things without money, making it shouldn't be our main goal in life. Money can allow us to buy items that we want. But it can't buy love or happiness. Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Hanny. Welcome to this month's translation practice. Translation practice is a favorite of mine. Translation practice is a great lesson in which we, Hanny and I, help you to translate Chinese into English. Right. That being said, you guys should get ready to work. Translation, you see, is difficult. To translate well, you'll need to work hard and be patient too. Okay, it is time to get started. Mm-hmm. Our first sentence of the day is. 好，今天要翻译的第一个句子是：虽然没有钱，我们就不能做很多事。但赚钱不应该是我们人生的主要目标。那这边要先提醒同学们，要表达虽然怎么样，但怎么样，我们不能用 although 什么什么 ，but 什么什么。在英文的句子里面，只能用一个连接词 ，although 跟 but 只能择一使用。好，那这个句子的主词是我们，动词是就不能。那因为它是在陈述事实，所以时态用现在简单式。嗯、mm, ，and in sentence number one. We have a sentence pattern to explain. Can't da, 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 without noun or verb ing. Now this pattern features the use of a double negative. Yeah, and in the vast majority of cases, double negatives break the laws of grammar. Here, though, the double negative helps us to emphasize something. Yes, this phrase, this pattern, I should say. Can't da, 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 without noun or verb ing is used to emphasize the fact that you cannot do something or that something is impossible if something else is not done or doesn't happen first or before or beforehand. For example, I can't let you go on the field trip without your parents' approval. 没有爸妈的同意，我不会让你去校外教学的。好，我们来学这个句型 ，can't 什么什么 without 加上名词或动名词，就表示没有什么就不能怎么样。那其中的 can't 表示不能 ，without 表示没有。那这样是双重否定的用法，用来强调说没有做某事就不能怎么样。在做什么什么之前，你一定要先做某事。例如。You can't turn the lamp on without plugging it in. 没有插上电源，你就不能开这个台灯啊。Okay, it is time to move on. Next, we're going to talk about 
money. Correct. Let's talk about what it means to make or to earn money. Make money. Earn money. Now, in the first half of this sentence, money was mentioned. Later on, the pronoun it is used to refer to, you guessed it, money. Anyways, I believe the phrase used was making it or earning it. And here we're talking about making or earning money. Very simply, if you make or earn money, you get money. You get money through your job, through business you've done, so on and so forth. If you make money, you get money. It's your income, let's say. For example, making money won't make you happier, but earning a lot of it can make your life easier. 虽然赚钱不会让你更快乐，但是有更多的钱却可以让你的生活过得比较舒适。好，要表达赚钱，英文可以说 make money 或者是 earn money。例如 ，Richard has to work long hours to earn money。Richard 必须要长时间工作来赚钱，他的工时都很长。好，这边要提醒同学们，在翻译课文句子的时候，因为前后子句都有提到钱 money， 所以后半句这个钱你可以改用代名词 it 来表示。是 making money, everyone is important. That being said, it should not be the only thing that you care about. Right, there's more to life than just money. Don't make earning money the main goal in your life. Main goal in life. Your main goal in life is the center of your life. It's the thing. That is most important to you, which motivates you, and which serves as your primary aim. Very simply, your main goal in life is the thing that you'd like to achieve above all other things. For example, being good at video games shouldn't be your main goal in life. 很会打电动不是一件坏事，但它不应该是人生的主要目标。好，要表达主要目标，英文可以说 main goal 或是 primary goal。其中这个 primary 或是 primary， 它是形容首要的、主要的。那它也可以表达初级的或是基本的意思。要翻译人生的主要目标，你就可以说 main goal in life 或是 primary goal in life。例如。His main goal in life is to become rich. 他的人生主要目标是要变得很有钱。好，那现在已经学会所有相关文法，重点可以翻译整个句子了。So the sentence could be: Although we can't do many things without money, making it shouldn't be our main goal in life. Well, it's true. Making money should not be the only purpose in your life. That goes for. Playing video games well too.、Mm -hmm. I agree with you there. Anyway, it is now time to take a look at the second sentence of the day. 好，今天要翻译的第二个句子是：金钱可以让我们买到我们想要的商品，但买不到爱或幸福。好，主词是金钱，那么动词是可以。这个句子在承接上一句，所以时态也是用现在简单式。Okay. Here we have a sentence phrase to examine. Allow us to buy. Now, usually, if you allow someone or something to do something, you give this person or thing permission to do something, or you let this person or thing do something. That's not the case here, though. If something allows you to do something, it gives you the ability to do something, or It makes it possible for you to do something. Here, if something allows you to buy something, this thing has given you the money to buy something that you couldn't have afforded before. For example, the money that we won in the lottery allowed us to buy a car. 中乐透的钱可以让我们买车了。好 ，allow us to buy 就是指让我们买到什么什么。好，当我们用 allow somebody to 加原形动词，就表示使某人能够做某事，允许某人做某事。例如 ，This app allows you to find nearby restaurants in a few seconds。这个应用程式使你能够在几秒之内找到附近的餐厅。好，那另外我们也可以用 let somebody 加上。
原形动词来表达说让某人做某事，像是 Her parents won't let her adopt a kitten. 她爸妈不让她领养小猫。Okay, everyone, break time is almost here. Yes, yes, it is. But we still have some work to do. Items that we want. Items, everyone, are things, are things or goods. Now, there are things that we want or that we desire. These things can be referred to as being items that we want. And notice the use of the adjective clause there. Items. What type of items? Items that we want or items that we desire. For example, things that you want to own should never begin to own you. 当我们很想某个东西的时候呢，会一直觉得那个商品在呼唤着你，让你摆脱不了欲望。那无形之中你就被物质束缚了。好，要翻译我们想要的商品，同学们可能会发现英文里面根本就没有一个形容词叫做我们想要的，所以你可以改用商品 items 当做先行词，后面再用形容词子句 that we want 来修饰它。那么 items that we want 就表示我们想要的商品。好，来造一个类似的例句。The book that I borrowed yesterday was pretty interesting. 我昨天借的那本书还挺有趣的。好，现在已学会所有相关文法重点，可以翻译整个句子哦。So the sentence could be: Money can allow us to buy items that we want, but it can't buy love or happiness. Okay, with that, two sentences are down, and only two more remain. Mm-hmm. And get this, everyone! It's time for a break. Right, but don't go away. We'll be right back with the second half of this month's translation practice. Translation practice. Practice B. Green energy refers to energy that doesn't produce a lot of pollution. People are developing new ways of using green energy to meet our electricity demand. Welcome back. Hanny and I are here to finish up this month's translation practice. Before the break, we translated two sentences. In this, the second half of our lesson, we'll be translating two more. So let's get started. Good idea. Our third sentence is. 好，今天要翻译的第三个句子是。绿能指的是不会产生大量污染的能源。那么主词是绿能，我们可以用 green energy 或者是 clean energy 干净的能源来表达。那么动词是指的是。好，这句是在陈述事实，所以时态是用现在简单式。Okay, let's talk about what it means to refer to something. Refer to. Now, usually, if you refer to something. You mention that thing. You point it out. Let's say you bring it up in conversation, but you don't explain it in great detail. Here, though, something slightly different is going on. To refer to something as being something, or to refer to something as something, is kind of like giving that thing a name. In this case, energy that does not pollute is called, or is referred to as being. Green energy. For example, the term "down under" refers to Australia and New Zealand. Down under 这个用语呢，指的就是澳洲和纽西兰。好 ，refer to 其实有很多意思。那我们可以用 refer to 来表达，指的是什么什么，跟什么什么有关。例如 ，puppy love refers to romantic love that is felt by a child or teenager. Puppy love 指的就是孩童或是青少年时期有的那种浪漫爱慕，就像青梅竹马那种纯纯的爱。Okay, that was no sweat. Bring on whatever's next. Okay then, I will. I will indeed. Bring it on. Produce a lot of pollution. Let's start at the end of things and then work our way backwards. Okay, first of all. The word pollution refers to dirty stuff that has been released into our environment. For instance, smoke that is produced by cars is an example of pollution. Next, we have the phrase "a lot of." This phrase means 
much. If you have a lot of something, you have it in great quantities or you have a great deal of it. Then, last but not least, let's talk about producing, producing pollution. Earlier I said that cars produce pollution. That means that these cars make this pollution. They release it into the environment. Okay, let's put it all together. If something produces a lot of pollution, this thing is responsible for releasing pollution into the environment. For example, old power plants produce a lot of pollution. 老旧的发电厂造成许多污染。好 ，pollution 就是污染。我们要表达产生污染、造成污染这个动词，你可以用 produce， 它有产生、造成的意思。那相反的，如果你要表达减少污染，动词就可以用 reduce。好，我们来看两个例句。Bikes are the most beneficial form of transportation. They don't produce pollution. 脚踏车是最有益的交通工具，它们不会制造污染，还可以健身。好，再看一个例句。The government must take action to reduce air pollution. 政府应该采取行动来减少空气污染。好，那顺便补充一下 ，pollution 污染它是不可数名词。当我们要修饰不可数名词，你除了可以用 a lot of 来表达大量的、很多的，你还可以用 much 或者是 a great deal of。好，那现在你学会所有相关文法重点，可以翻译整个句子喽。So the sentence could be: Green energy refers to energy that doesn't produce a lot of pollution. Okay, now it is time to discuss the final sentence of the day. Right, it is now time to take a look at sentence number four. 好，今天要翻译的第四个句子是。人们正在发展利用绿能来符合我们电力需求的新方法。好，那主词是人们，那么动词是正在发展。好，这就是在表达正在进行的事情，所以时态是用现在进行式。Okay, let's go ahead and go over a phrase. Meet our electricity demand. In this case, the word demand is being used as a noun. The noun demand. Refers to how much something is wanted or needed by others. Electricity demand, for instance, is the amount of electricity that people in a certain area need or want. Further, to meet a demand is to produce the amount of that thing that will make everyone happy. If you meet a person's demand, let's say. You've given them something enough of something that they don't want it anymore. For now, for example, if our electricity demands are not met, people will take to the streets. 如果没有提供人们足够的电力，没有符合人们的电力需求，大家可能会走上街头示威抗议。好 ，meet our electricity demand 就表示符合我们的电力需求。其中这个 electricity 它表示电力，那么 demand 在这边它是当名词，表示需求或是需求量。好，通常我们要表达符合什么什么需求，都会搭配动词 meet。例如 ，the company had to speed up production to meet growing demand。那间公司必须要增加产量来应应需求成长。Wow, that was slightly tricky. I hope the coming explanation is easier. Oh, it is, Hanny. It is. Great. Ways of noun or ways to verb. Let's make things as easy as possible. Here, a way is how you do something. Now there are ways of doing something or ways to do something. A way of thinking, for instance, is how you think of that thing. A way to eat, on the other hand, is just the way that you choose to eat with your hands or with chopsticks or with a fork and knife, etc. For example, there are many ways to get to Taipei. You can drive, take the HSR, take a bus. Etc. 要去台北有很多方式，你可以开车、搭高铁、搭公车等等。好 ，way 当名词可以指方式、方法。那我们常常用 ways of 加上名词或动名词，或是 ways to 加原形动词来表达什么什么的方法、什么什么的方式。举例来说 ，There are several different ways of writing the date. 日期有好几种不同的写法，有日月年啊、月日年、年月日等等的。好，再看一个例句。
There are many ways to learn English. 学英文有很多方法，像看我们的教学杂志跟影片就是其中一种。好，那现在已经学会所有相关文法重点，可以翻译整个句子喽。So the sentence could be: People are developing new ways of using green energy to meet our electricity demand. Okay, with that, this month's translation practice lesson is now complete. Mhm,、mm、and that means that it is now time for a break. But don't go away. We'll be back next time. Hey, don't 跟我顶嘴哦。这个英文要怎么表达？欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》。我是 Steven， 我是 Kate。今天呢，就是要讲一些关于顶嘴的英文。我最不会顶嘴了，真的，真的快点教我几句。我这是我的强项，没错，看得出来。顶嘴。<笑>好，第一个呢，就是 How dare you talk back to me like that？ 而且你知道，每次讲这种话，就是很像要要有气势那种感觉。这句话已经很凶了、欸，很凶。我们先说 talk back to me 的意思。Oh. Talk back to me 就是顶嘴，嗯，回嘴嘛，对，就讲回去。对， How dare you 是你怎么敢？哦、oh, ，你怎么敢？ Okay， How dare you talk back to me 就是你怎么敢顶嘴、mm. ？Like that， 像这样。哦、oh, ，所以一定要等别人顶嘴，你才能讲这句啊！你如果没有人讲话，你讲这句话，人家就是神经病。<笑>好，再一次，你用气势的方式讲这句话。你说我吗？嗯。How dare you talk back to me like that？ 哎、欸，你应该要先。可以啊，我觉得我很很好啊，很好很好。Okay, okay. Okay. OK， 那我们来下一句。下一个呢是 Who do you think you're talking to？ 嗯嗯，你以为你在跟谁说话？对，平常是比较有权威的一个角色，是会讲这句话。嗯，偶尔可能是有一些人会觉得没有受到尊敬，他会讲这一句。哦，对，就是你呃，在在跟别人讲话的时候没有尊重他，然后你就可以说这句话。Who do you think you're talking to？ 哦 ，OK， 这样，这,样这两句话都。太凶了，我觉得。可顶嘴本来就是你本来就是要凶回去啊，对不对？再来这一句话呢，就是 Don't give me any lip. Don't give me any lip. 对，不要给我任何的嘴唇。嘴唇<笑>这句话好好笑哦。是因为可能就是你用嘴唇，你知道顶嘴的时候，你会有一个很丑的表情，可能会这样。哦、oh.。然后就是因为有给了人家那个嘴唇，就是说 Don't give me any lip. 所以也非常的，我觉得说的很好哎、欸，就不要这样，<笑>嗯，这样,這樣就很丑， okay, <笑>非常的贴切。然后第四个呢，有一点刚像第二个，它就是 Who do you think you are？ 嗯，跟前面几句类似。Who do you think you are？ 对，一个是 Who do you think you're talking to 嘛，对不对？ Oh, 你觉得你在跟谁讲话？ Okay. 那一个是你以为你是谁？对，你以为你是谁？讲话，对、啊，讲成这样，就就是。顶嘴的话就可以用这些的英文。那我现在呢，我想让 Kate 练习一下怎么用顶嘴的英文。比如说，我是小朋友，不想写功课。比如说，你是妈妈嘛啊？写功课。好，妈妈不想写功课啦。Don't give me any lip. OK， 还不错，还不错，还蛮有气势的，可以再凶一点点。这需要练习。对啦，那我们怎么看？在一些，比如说。生活上怎么用这些的英文句子？那我们现在就进入 live action. So, will you meet Jack tomorrow? It's none of your business. How dare you talk back to me like that? Who do you think you are? Why should I tell you? You don't really care. Who do you think you're talking to? Don't give me any lip. De, how dare you talk back to me like that? Dear, who do you think you're talking to? D3, don't give me any lip. D4, who do you think you are? 